Does it sometimes feel like your emotions come in waves and are hard to navigate? Let me introduce you to the oceans of emotions. This land lover is you, and these are the most basic emotions that influence your journey on sea. For many sailors, experiencing stronger waves when life gets tough is normal. But you might get pulled into even the smallest current when your ship misses an anchor. This can happen with ADHD, where a lack of filter for stimuli makes it difficult to prioritize the right feelings and leave you under the weather quickly. Your ocean may also consist of rogue waves that constantly deliver a broadside and toss you around. People with borderline personality and mood disorders suffer from this. Unfortunately, other sailors often turn a blind eye to what often can be considered a call for help. While all our emotions have a purpose, they can turn unhealthy like when anger turns into hate, love into obsession or sadness into depression. These serrated rocks can easily make you capsize and turn everything into flotsam. It's hard enough to communicate clearly under such circumstances, but when there's fog involved, like with autism, even quiet seas can leave you blind to signals from others around you. Clear the deck! Pirates! They possess narcissistic traits who try to make you abandon ship for their personal gain. You might go along willingly because their ship looks safer, at least for a while, until you are pressed into their service. Rather give them a white berth, eh? It's important to note that all of this is part of the maritime experience and does not take away from a clean bill of mental health. But when hardships turn into suffering, you can work on your resilience against harsh conditions by improving your ship and sailing skills. This means knowing the ropes of mindfulness and emotional regulation. You can also invite a first maid on board like a trusted friend, therapist or life coach to help you navigate until you are confident enough to take back full control as the captain. How would you describe your own personal ocean of emotions so that people, including yourself, may fathom you better? Get underway!